Well, Hope, Ollie, and Smalls were finishing up in Brazil. They said goodbye to all their friends, and somebody helped take them to the airport again. When they got to the airport, once again, they didn't know how to get to Utah. But all they knew is all they had to do was get on a plane, and just maybe, somehow, they would end up in Utah. They kept seeing more and more Christmas lights, and they knew it was getting close to Christmas. And they really wanted to get to Utah and get back to Ohio before Christmas, just in case this Santa Claus guy was real and brought them some gifts. They didn't want to miss out on anything. Well, anyway, they're at the airport in Brazil. And they found a plane, the biggest one they could find, which is what they kept doing. And they went and they got in it. So they got up inside and they're talking about everything and how cool Brazil was. And the plane all closes up and gets ready to take off. And they are remembering their friends and the cool stuff and the new gang members and everybody that they got from Brazil and how cool those Brazilian birds looked riding around on their skateboards and bikes and scooters and how interesting it was to meet them. Well, anyway, the plane flew and flew and flew. And this time the plane stopped a couple times. They never got off, but the plane did stop a couple times. Anyway, finally, the doors open. And they fly out, and they get outside, and they're sitting on the plane, and they're looking around. And they look at each other, and they go, Man, what is this place? This is really weird. There's, like, lots of sand and stuff here. Like, forever. Look, you look, there's, like, even, like, Hardly any trees over there. What are we going to do? And look, there's like a town over there, but it's not like a big giant city like the ones we've been hanging out and checking out. Well, anyway, Smalls looks up at the airport tower and he says, Hmm. Na-ro-bi. What is Na-ro-bi? I don't know. That's what it says over there. Maybe it's some kind of food yeet. I don't know. Says Nairobi over there. Hmm. They looked around. They saw some extra planes. And Hope said, Well, what does that plane spell right there? A F R I C A A I R. Two words. Put it in. See what it says. Okay, Smalls puts it in and in the phone. Africa. Africa? What is Africa? Hey, didn't one time we get something from somebody in Africa? Like Africa. <laughs> that's, that's right. <laughs> Africa. <laughs> I can't even say it. Can you say it, Smalls? Smalls goes, I can say it. Africa. And we're in Nairobi. Hmm. Okay. Well, they couldn't see a big city like they'd seen before. So they decided they better get away from the jets because if they start flying around... They don't want to get hit. So they fly to this little town. And it's not like other towns. There's not big buildings. There's just like a lot of regular sized buildings. But a lot of people live in there. A bunch. And they all look around and go, you know, this place looks really different from everywhere else we've ever been. Everywhere else there were lots of cars and, and people and like big giant buildings with lights all over them. This place is not like that. This place doesn't look like like it's even a city or something. It's so different. Yeah, I know. And look, I haven't hardly seen any birds yet. So they decided to fly around, and they did. Well, they couldn't find any skate shops or anything. All they could see was a bunch of people walking around on the street, riding bicycles and these little scooters, you know, like motor scooters. And they finally saw some birds. And so they went up to the birds... And they said, hi, guys. And the bird said, hello. How do you? And Hope, Ollie, and Smalls looked at each other and they go, uh, we're okay. Uh, where are we? You're in Nairobi, Africa. Hey, wait a minute. We know you. You're Hope, Ollie, and Smalls. Oh, yeah, that's us. We see you all the time on the YouTube. We go down to that one store, and when they're not looking, we use their phones, and we have seen you. 
Really? Yeah, we all want to be like you here, but we cannot be like you here. Why not? Because we do not have skate park. We do not have things like you have there in Nairobi. Nairobi is a very poor country, and there are people without very much money here, so we do not have very much. That's why we do not have big city. We have just regular town with people living in it. Wow, said Hope. That's amazing. And the bird said, I know some other birds who would love to meet you. They would love to see you skate and scooter and ride your bikes. Will you follow me? They said, yeah. So they took off. They were a little scared. They didn't know quite what to think about this place. Because it was really just that different. Well, anyway, they get to this one place that's like a parking lot. And they see lots of birds around. And they land and all the birds come over because they all know who Hope Alleen Smalls is. Again, because they're famous. Well, it doesn't take long for them to realize that these birds are so friendly. They're as friendly as the birds in Brazil and in Japan. So far, every bird they meet is very friendly. And they're talking to them, and the birds ask Hope Alleen Smalls if they'll give them a demonstration. And Hope Alleen Smalls will said, sure. So they did. Hope busted out all kinds of tricks on the bike. And of course, Smalls, he's by now, he is the best scooter rider ever. And Ollie, who can do better than Ollie on a skateboard? Nobody can. And they were so impressed, all the African birds. They were applauding and they were yelling and they were chanting in a different language that Hope, Ollie, and Smalls had never heard before. And they got done, and they came over, and they were talking to him. And Hope said, hey, can we see you guys do some tricks, too? You guys got, like, you got some stuff to do, can't you? Well, we can do all kinds of tricks, yes. But we do not have, like, what you have there. What do you mean? Well, we cannot afford to have these things nice like this. We have, like, a board with a few wheels on it. And we do not have a bicycle ever. And if we want to make a scooter, we have to put a handle on the skateboard, and that is a scooter. That is all we have to play with. Oh, man. Well, what do you guys do? Well, we just like to go watch you on YouTube, and we like to pretend, and maybe someday one of us will become rich people, and we will get these things too. Oh, man. Well, here, take ours, ride them. You guys can play, we will share. You are not kidding us, are you? No. This is fantastic. This is fantastic. They were so excited. And they all started lining up. All they wanted to do was ride a real skateboard, a real bicycle, and ride a real scooter. And they did. And those birds were the most grateful birds you could ever imagine. Because they were just poor birds. And they didn't have anything very much at all. And what they did have was stuff that they made out of stuff that they found laying around in the streets that nobody else wanted. They rode the bike and the scooter and the skateboard all day. Smalls filmed them, and he had all kinds of videos of them doing things. They even showed them how to take wood and make a ramp out of it. They found an old piece of wood. They found some old cardboard boxes that worked, too. They made ramps out of those too they showed them how to do it and it wasn't long and they had their own little skate park set up in this parking lot well birds were coming from everywhere now because they'd heard about this they heard that hope Ollie and smalls from the united states from ohio were there giving demonstrations and letting people practice and ride on their scooters bikes and skateboards well that night came and the birds from Nairobi, Africa, said, you'll come and stay with us. And they did. They wanted to. And they took them into their homes, and they fed Hope Ollie and Smalls, and they treated them so, so good. It was, they just could not believe it. So it was nighttime, and it was time for them to go to bed. And all the other birds, the Nairobian birds and African birds, had gone off and gone to bed. And Hope Ollie and Smalls were talking, and they said, Guys, man, these birds, they don't got nothing. 
they're like poor birds. They just don't, they don't even have nothing to even ride on. And they, you can tell like how bad they want to ride. And they had so much fun. And Small said, yeah, man, they really did too. I know they did. And I said, yeah, I know. We should help them out. Well, well what should we do? Well, I know, I got an idea. Let's call the sparrows back home. And let's find out how many skateboards got traded in. Like, since we opened the skate park, we got to have like a thousand of them there. You know, like everybody was trading them in and getting new stuff. We certainly got to have plenty of them older ones around. They're nice skateboards. Hmm. Yeah, we can get them shipped here. Like, you know, like just like we send stuff with the Amazon, you know, like on the computer. We can do that on the phone too, you know. They did. They called the sparrows, and the sparrows told them that they had about 400 skateboards, and and they were all put together, and they were all working, and they were all ones people traded in. And Hope gets on the phone, and he calls Amazon, and he finds out that they use UPS to ship things. So he gets off the phone, and he calls UPS. Well, he pretends to be in a person. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> this is Mr. Smith. Yes, I would like to get some packages picked up in Ohio, and I would like to have them sent to Nairobi, Africa. Yes, that's right. That's me. Yes, my phone number. No, it's, it's uh, oh, I don't know, uh, three three zero uh, four six five uh, five 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 five. Yeah, that's me, <laughs> Mr. Smith. Yeah. Well, anyway, he tricked him, and a UPS truck went, and they had found boxes that they had put, filled two boxes full of skateboards. Now, remember, Tectic skateboards are small, and two big boxes full of them is like a lot. Well, they had them sent to a, a restaurant in Nairobi, Africa, because they knew they could find them there because that's they didn't tell anybody about what they were doing. But that's the place they were staying at because these birds lived outside of a restaurant. And that was actually how they got their food. They would wait till the restaurant closed at the end of the day and they were throwing food out and those birds ate that food. That's how poor they were. Well, they stayed there and they skated in Africa for about three days. And that's how long it took for the boxes to come. Well, when the boxes come, it just said on them to Mr. Smith and it was the address. Well, they ran around and they called all the sparrows that were there and all the other African birds and asked them to come over and help them get these boxes. They said, no, we can up with those boxes that are for the restaurant. No, 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 no. We ordered these boxes. Look, it says right here, HOS Skate. From HOS Skate to Mr. Smith. That's me. I'm Mr. Smith. <laughs> anyway, they got the boxes. They pushed them around back. Well, none of the birds in Africa knew what was getting ready to happen. None of them did. They took their beak and they cut open the box all the way. And there were so many sparrows around and birds from Africa. And they were just watching and they were just happy to be there because they were so impressed with HOS Gate with Hope Alley and Smalls. Hope said to everybody, everybody, we want you guys to have as good a time as we do. And we want you to learn how to be really great skateboarders. And we're going to give everybody here a skateboard and we're going to have a lot left over. And those extras, we want you guys to find birds who want them. And the birds stood there with their eyes so big around. And Hope opened up the box and there it was. It was full of skateboards and scooters. No bikes, but plenty of skateboards and scooters. The African birds could not believe it. They stood there and stared in disbelief. And they had little tears in their eyes because they'd never had anything before. 
and their hearts were overwhelmed with joy. And Hope, Ollie, and Smalls felt so happy that they were able to share with these guys. They all lined up, and they were so polite. And they gave one skateboard to each one of them. And they had a whole other box of them left. And they said they were going to hide that box. And when other birds started showing up and they didn't have anything either, they had to make sure that they gave them one. Well, they all flew back to the parking lot where they had made their little skate park. And they started riding. You couldn't have seen more happy birds than the ones you saw in Africa skating. And they did. They skated and they scootered. And Ollie and Small showed them how to do trick after trick. And even Hope helped them out with some of the basic stuff because he's not real good scooter riding or uh, skateboarding. But he knew enough. So they showed them how to do things that they needed to know how to do. They could do fakies. They could do ollies. They really could. They were even learning how to grind on this one rail they had found. Well... It wasn't long until Smalls was filming them and he was putting it on YouTube about all the cool birds that were in Africa and how good they could skate and how good they could ride scooters. One of them even learned how to do a backflip on the one ramp that was on the cardboard box on his scooter. And that was really very, very cool. They spent all day there that day, the whole day. And other birds showed up, and sure enough, they made sure that they got a skateboard. You should have seen the parking lot. It was just packed with them. Well, some other birds showed up who seemed to know where there was some wood and things and took them to another place that was like an old hotel. And it was perfect because it was all level and had concrete everywhere. There was an empty swimming pool that they could skateboard down inside of. And that's exactly what they did. They built ramps out of the wood that they found. They had helped and stayed there in Nairobi and helped them build their own skate park. And it took so many days. They were there a whole week helping these African birds get something. And the park was beautiful when it was done. And even Hope, Ollie, and Smalls were impressed with the park and thought about how nice it was to ride there. And they thought to themselves that if they can ever come back here again, they need to come back and ride again because these are the coolest ramps they had built yet. Well, these birds, it wasn't taking them any time at all to learn how to go down in the bowl and up and do the ramps. They were doing 360s by now. They had already figured out how to do so many tricks even Ollie had showed them how to do the flying Ollie. The birds had the greatest event. And the one bird said, you know, it's almost Christmas here. And this is the greatest Christmas present we've ever gotten. And we're so very happy. We appreciate you coming here. And they wanted to name the skate park after Hope, Ollie, and Smalls. And they did. They called it the Hope Ali and Small Honorable Skate Park. And they had somebody come who was really good at drawing and used his beak and drew three birds on the side of one of the ramps. And they had Hope write his name, Small sign his name, and Ali write his name below their pictures. And they told everybody they knew. And Hope said, well, when we get back home, We'll make sure that we send you guys even more skateboards if we can get them. We're going to get because whenever we have extras, if we have something, we'll send them. And the one bird said, you know what? I'd really love to ride a bicycle. And Hope thought, man, you know what? Hope just took his bicycle and said, take mine. You can keep my bicycle. It's Christmas and I want to give this bicycle to you. And Ollie and Smalls were like, no, Hope, you're going to need your bike. Hope was like, no, I'll get another bike. This guy doesn't have a bike. He needs to feel good and ride a bike. I'll tell you what. Hope, Ollie, and Smalls' hearts were so big to be giving so much at Christmas like this. 
And these birds were so grateful and so happy that Hope Ollie and Smalls had come to Africa and showed them how to ride boards, how to build skate parks, and showed them how to give. And those birds had a great, great Christmas. And I bet you that even once Hope Ollie and Smalls leave, they're still going to be riding them skateboards for the rest of the year. Until next time, see ya.